YouTube, it's your boy Isaiah the Player, and I'm finally back with another video. I went on hiatus for a little minute, because I ain't got no shoe in a little minute, but that's changing on today. And in the future, I'm go I gotta find ways to make videos without shoes, so, because I'm not gonna be able to buy the shoe that's coming out every single week, and they have been dropping a lot of heat, I can't lie. It's been breaking my heart not being able to buy some of these shoes. But one day, I'm going to have them all. One day, I'm going to have them all. Pokemon. Got to catch them all looking at. Anyway, today, we got another basketball shoe. And it's not Jordan. It's not Nike. It's not Adidas. No dames. No dames. It's Puma. We back at it with another Puma video. And it's by the same guy as last time. My favorite rapper. J. Cole. As y'all know, he just dropped a new album. The off season. That album was valid. I don't want to hear no if, ands, or buts about it. In the discussion, that album is valid. If you got to pause this video... And go listen to it. Go do that. Go pause the video. Go listen to that album. And come right back to that album. Everybody need that album in their life. I promise you they do. And then, finally. Well, we not here. To, well, no. well, I don't know what I'm talking about. We not here to talk about his album, though. As much as I would love to. We're here to talk about that man's shoe. That man, basketball shoe. As y'all know, he in Africa playing for, I I don't know the, like the city that he plays for. I just know they're called the Patriots. He's out there playing ball in Africa. And when I'm proud of him as a big fan. And because, you know, he, he doing something. He doing something other than rapping. You know how rappers want to play basketball. Like, you know, rappers want to play sports and uh Athletes want to rap and stuff like that. Get your shit together. Get it all together and put it in a backpack. All your shit. So it's together. So I think that's cool that he's out there actually playing basketball. And he has his own sneaker already. So he ain't averaging like no 20 points. And I know people have been clowning him because he only got like five points total. But, hey, let that man be. He doing his thing. He living his life. And I'm happy for him. He out there playing ball. And I'm going to be playing ball too in his shoes. Yes, sir. Let's get into it. We got the Puma RS Dreamer. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, we, oh, we turn for this one. We turn for this one. We gonna get into the box first because I love the box. I saw a couple videos on these shoes and some people didn't get this box. And when I saw, when I got these, I had ordered them while I was in school. I got them delivered here to the house. And I was like watching videos other people had made on them. And let me tell you something. They was like, I didn't get the little Dreamville box. I'm really mad about that. And the whole time I was thinking to myself, I said, man, if I don't get that box, I'm going to be mad. I said, I'm going to be mad if I don't get this box. Because this box is part of the presentation. And it's just cool. Like, I mean, no one, no one want a regular Puma box. That's lame. But long story short, as you see, I didn't get that regular Puma box. Thank you. I got the cool Dreamville box with the clouds, the J. Cole little logo, the Puma logo. If y'all didn't know, this logo right here is from when he tried to dunk the ball in the dunk contest after Dennis Smith Jr. dunked over him. And they kind of used that kind of like a like how you know they did with Michael Jordan and the Jordans, which for those of y'all who didn't know, but and you know, 
he's the owner of Dreamville, so Dreamer. That's kind of like the logo and the clouds and stuff. I thought that was really dope. You know. Get into the wallpaper. It's a little bit of the same thing. Uh, you know, you just got the Dreamville logo, wallpaper, all around the wallpaper. And then I took the shoes out the box because it was a little hassle getting them on right. I didn't want to do all that on video, so, but, got a little, I'm taking my wallpaper out, got a little, uh, white duction sticker right there in the box, let me get the shoes, and I don't see anything else, like no quality control sticker, I'm not even sure that's the thing with Puma. I think that's just with like Nikes and Jordans. Uh, but yeah, there goes the box. I'm very happy I got this box. It's a beautiful box. Should that be the thumbnail? I don't know. But now let's get into the actual shoe, y'all. I'm gonna just hold up one. That way uh, it's not like all crowded. The Puma RS Dreamer. Yes, sir. Uh, if if you have been watching my videos, y'all know I got the Mario joints too. Put an M on your head like you Luigi, brother. That boy knew what he was doing. Stop playing. Go check out that album. Anyway. Let's see. We're going we're gonna to start from the we're gonna start from the bottom. We're going to start from the bottom. You know, the traction pattern is supposed to be a leaf. For those of you who don't know, then you got the little, little orange little thing right here, and it's a white bottom rubber. Then on the midsole, you got all these different colors like the orange, yellow, lime green, purple, teal. Another shade of yellow, I want to say black. And then, yeah. I want to say, I know this white part is still the rubber part because it's connected to the bottom. Then this part, I'm gonna go say, I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna take a guess, y'all. I'm gonna say it's rubber. I'm not totally sure about that. Oh, it feels like rubber. Yes, yeah, it's, it's probably rubber. And then along the midsole, you got like this new book. Swiss, uh, not a Swiss, but a little thing going on right here. Also, as it goes more up on this side of the shoe, you also got the new buck. And then, you know, you got the leather, you got a leather upper right here. It's a low top. So, leather upper. Black shoelaces. And then you got your 3M hits all around the shoe, like right here, right here. And then like kind of around, going around the shoe. All that is 3M. And then on this side, you got the 3M material. And then on the tongue, we got the RS Dreamer. Like RSD for RS Dreamer. For those of you who don't know, that has the little Puma logo on top. And it's orange and white. And then on the back... You got the the Dreamer logo on the back of the shoe, which I really do like. I, I like that little, I like that, like the little, I like that, I like that little part. I don't know why I like it so much, but I, I like it. I like it a lot. And let's get into the inside. You know, got a little sticker right there. I'm not sure if y'all can read that, but it says Puma Basketball. And it has the Dreamer logo on the inside as well. Just, in my opinion, I, I'm I'm biased. I'm super biased. I think the shoe is beautiful. I don't care what no one else says. I'm biased. Y'all know J. Cole, my favorite rapper. I'll say it all day. I'm biased. And I just had to get this colorway just because it's the original one. It has, like, the Dreamville because that's his thing. If I had some Dreamville merch, I would definitely have it on for this video. You know what? 
I'm probably gonna have it on one one of these days. I'm gonna give me some Dreamville merch. Just just wait. I'm gonna give me some Dreamville merch. And but other otherwise, there's not that much that I can really say else about the shoe. Now I did go play basketball at my Mario ones. That's gonna be saved for another video. Uh and I've also played basketball in my Dames, my Dame Sevens. I'll do a little comparison video on them. So that's also gonna be saved for another video. And yeah, I really ain't got nothing else to say about the shoe except for it's valid. Go get you a pair. There are plenty of NBA players who wear them. I'm gonna try and scoot to the side here and put some pictures right here. I know Tristan Jazz, he's a basketball YouTuber. I've seen him wear them in a couple of videos. Uh, Devontae Friga, he's also another basketball YouTuber who wears them in his videos. And like, I, it's just, I feel like these shoes are well, these are popular within the basketball world now. And I don't think it's just because they're J. Cole shoe. I think it's because they're actually good basketball shoes. And so I'm, I'm happy that my boy is getting some traction. He did drop another shoe, and it's kind of like a mid-top. I ain't really mess with that one, at least the colorway that he dropped. He dropped like a yellow colorway. But in his documentary for the off-season or the promotion video, what I can't remember what that was, he had another pair on, and they were red. I like those way better than the yellow pair. So I see that. I'm not sure if he dropped the red pair yet. But if he drops that pair, I mean, I don't need no more red shoes anyway, but I don't care. <laughs> I'm going to have to, I'm going to, I'm going to get those and check those out too. So, but I wasn't a big fan of that yellow pair. I wasn't feeling them. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Jermaine. I wasn't feeling them, but I am feeling these though. I am feeling these and I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I want to start posting more videos other than shoes too as well like I, I actually want to go post videos about playing basketball and playing football as well I, so I, I might start a separate channel for sports where i'm going around playing basketball football and i'm a track guy so i love to do like track stuff but that would be a lot harder to set up Otherwise, you just see me running on the track by myself, and I'm not sure how entertaining that is. Although I am pretty fast, so I'm not sure if people just like to watch people run or just anyway. But yeah, that is something I want to do in the future for future reference. So if y'all, I, I haven't created that channel yet, but let me know if that's something y'all would be interested in. I ain't the best hooper, but I'm gonna get right. I'm gonna get right. I'm a, I'm a shooter and I got I got a little handle but and I'm fast when it comes to football so I got a little I got a little move I used I did a little something back in the day but I, I want to do something like that because I'm a big sports guy I love sports I like getting active having fun so in that way I could do like cleats and basketball shoes and reviews you know like each channel will bounce off each other if that makes sense so a new basketball a shoe comes out i can wear it in my video for a basketball video and then come back and make it another video for the sneaker channel about a review on how the shoe how i felt about the shoe and stuff like that which is what i will do with the dame sevens and these joints right here although i didn't play in these specifically i played in the mario ones like I said, that'll be in it for a separate video. And, you know, the, that way the two channels can kind of just bounce off each other. And that way I'm not just doing Jordans. So look forward to that in the near future because I will be doing that. And and also with the sports thing, it allows me to just, I don't have to pay to go play basketball. Unless I'm like in the men's league, which I'm not. I can just go to a parking hoop with some friends and just have fun. You know, I want to have fun with this YouTube stuff. It's hard to, like I said, it's hard to do these sneakers with because they cost so much money. That's really all I spend my money on. But 
of that and food. But man, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, that notification bell button, spread the word. Uh, it's summertime now. Make sure y'all stay hydrated. It is hot. I went to go play basketball earlier. So, you know, make sure y'all drinking y'all water and stuff. Not just soda and juice and all that other stuff. But I hope y'all have a good weekend. A blessed week. And Isaiah the player is out.